All right, welcome everyone to another episode of the Iron Man series. Now, today is a very exciting episode, as you guys could see from the title or from the thumbnail. Uh, it was actually update day on the server, which means there's a whole bunch of new features here added or removed or even changed in the game. But one new feature or one item that has been added to the game is a new Slayer boss. That's right. Now, if you're wondering why we're wearing Ender Armor and why we're sitting in the end, that is because we've got ourselves a new End Slayer boss on our hands. It's actually an Enderman or like it's gonna be special names for all this stuff. We're going to go over all that in today's video and we're going to try to attempt a tier 1 of this specific Slayer. Now we've heard that this Slayer is actually very difficult. I don't believe anybody in the server has been able to go past tier 4 or level 4 of this Slayer. So it's very difficult. So we'll see if we can even, I guess, uh, beat 1, the first layer, which is going to be crazy. It's going to be very interesting here because they've actually nerfed strength with this update. So our strength has gone down quite a lot. We used to get around 30,000 crit damage and we're only getting around 10 to 12,000, which is much lower than before. So we'll see if we can even handle a tier 1. I think we can, but you know, all the other like slayers we have been doing are probably going to be a problem, like the tier 4 uh, tarantula and things like that or reverent so it'd be very interesting here in the future but let's give this thing a shot and check it out now before we get into today's episode we want to mention we are trying to reach youtube rank here on the server so if you haven't already join the code subscribe and let's get into today's episode also while you're at it be sure to check out zach Plazian, our co-op member he'll be linked down below okay so let's start off our journey here we're currently in the end so let's head into this new sort of it's not really new to be honest this build still looks like traditional very old school of course from before but there is a new feature in the build which we're gonna head to right now so actually down this way let's head towards it go up a little bit and just right over here as you can see there's a glass wall and behind this glass wall it gets very terrifying because the mobs back here are actually cracked all right so they're so cracked that we actually decided to buy a cookie for this example because we don't want to die and lose our god potions or even our coins so let's head over there check it out let's warp in here and there you go this is the build it's very interesting very cool as you can see there's voiding fanatic sitting here and uh this guy's don't even look at their eyes but this guy is uh 32 million health like what 700,000 health 500 700,000 health it's actually crazy the mobs that are sitting in here so now of course when we start our slayer quests we do not want to be grinding into this room because these mobs are too hard to kill I'll actually just try it for an example here for you guys look at this okay i'm doing around 20,000 17,000 crit still trying to kill this mob and this will just take literally ages to kill 400,000 oh Oh, oh my gosh, my health. It's actually just dropping hard. And I'm dead. Just like that. Look at that. So we're definitely not grinding in there. We'll be grinding down below where the zealots are running around. Grind some zealots when we do our slayers. So we maybe get some eyes on the way. So now let's go ahead, take a look at the new slayer. See what we can get from the boss drops as well as the rewards. So now looking in at the void gloom, as you can see, we have one, two, three, four different tiers here. As you can see, we can start the first one, which is 2000 coins. So not that pricey. It does come with some boss drops. Um, now looking at the boss loving rewards, you can see we do have sort of a sneak peek of a few. So very interesting items. It's sort of re like related to the end and like the void and all that, which is very cool. We also have the Enderman Slayer level 3, so that you can see there's the Juju Shortbow recipe with the Soul SO Ward recipe and the Void Edge Katana. So kind of interesting to see these in the future here. Of course, we won't get to them today in today's episode just because they're so advanced in different levels. We'll definitely see level 1 though, which is very cool. And then we can see we also have some boss drops here and there's actually three boss drops for the um, Void Gloom. So you can see there's the Null Sphere. We have the Twilight Arrow Poison and the Ender Snake Rune 1. Now, if you guys want to know more about what happens with all these drops and stuff like that, or kind of a guide, check out Zach's channel. He has got a guide up on the channel currently. And it's very interesting what the Soul Flow actually does or what it's used for. And uh, it actually adds a whole new like kind of element to the game. Now, another thing I want to mention before we start these Slayers. If you ring the Bat Phone, which I'm glad I have, you can see that unfortunately... Um, so we were trying to grind for the Auto Slayer with these three right here. Get those to level 6. Now, unfortunately, we get the Void Glooms to level 6 as well, which you, it's going to be so hard to do that. It's definitely going to be a work in progress. We cannot get that done right away. So we definitely can't reach our goal of getting Auto Slayer at the moment. I was so close, but I couldn't get it. All right, so let's start our first Slayer here. Grind some zim zim zim. <laughs> grind some zealots for the eyes. Let's get started.
Okay, so we're very close here to spawning the boss. Uh, I've got my brother here. We're going to corner this thing, hopefully. Kill it. Maybe we'll do some boss trading. Maybe my brother will have his ready in time. We can boss trade. So it's going to be interesting to see how fast we can kill this guy, of course. As we said before, um, I hope we have enough strength and just armor in general as well. Some defense. But we'll see. Oh, it spawned here. Took a two. All right, it says 12 hits. It goes back to damage. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I do. I, I might need health here, actually. 14 hits, 13 hits, 3 hits. I don't know why I'm stressing. It's actually not that bad. Why? Oh, yeah, you're okay. Okay, kill it. Well, there you go, guys. That was the first one. Oh, I actually got a drop. No spheres. Let's see what this is. Actually, let's right click it and see what's all about. Uh, you can actually get a null avoid. Oh, interesting, interesting. We need a lot of obsidian actually for that. That's crazy. But overall, pretty easy, pretty good. Okay, so we're hitting it, and so far, damage wise, we're actually pretty chill right now. Which doesn't really hurt it's us too bad. much. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. We can easily do it ourselves. We can maybe good. get to tier twos and try those. Yeah, I just realized we don't have a pet out either, so I, I don't have a pet out. There you go. Already killed it. Yeah, it's good. What? I didn't even do the last hit. Yeah, no, I did it by accident. Wow, that was so easy. That's pretty good, guys. So let's grind these tier ones. Maybe unlock tier two. And uh, try tier 2 because it's going to be very interesting to see if those are hard to do. I just have to say it's pretty neat what they added here with the counter, the hit counter, and then also the damage counter. So people that can like one-shot these things can't really one-shot right away. They're going to have to go through this process of like, actually doing hits. So definitely a very cool update here in that sense. Yeah, so we'll definitely see how it goes. We're we'll definitely level up our tier 1s here first. As you can see, I also got the Null Sphere. So we'll just kind of grind those out and just see what we'll get. Alright, so let's claim our Slayer Reward. And we got our XP. Now, as you can see... Uh... Oh, we actually unlocked tier 2s right away! So try to to right now. Why not give it a shot? Uh, let's see how we handle this bad boy. Special Zealot. No way, I already got one. Let's go. Let's go another eye here, which is really great while we're grinding these. No way. That's awesome. Another one. Where is it? There it is. Oh god, second summoning eye. That was like... How many kills did you guys saw on the counter there? I'm gonna zoom into that, but that's unbelievable. We just got another summoning eye. All right, so we're very close here to spawning the boss. So I'm gonna grind here with my brother. We're gonna spawn it and see how well we can do against this thing. All right, so we're a few kills away. And here it goes. All right, there it is. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it killed me. Right away. All right, so it looks like uh, we can't really handle those things. Oh my gosh, those things are so strong. What? That's crazy. All right, so that was absolutely crazy. My brother died right away, so we're gonna go ahead and try to spawn mine. We'll be more careful. Try to like get, get away as fast as we can whenever we're getting low. So here it goes. Ready? Here go one. Ready? All right. Here it goes. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, I couldn't even get away. Oh my gosh. The only way I think to handle this is if, if someone like stays far away from it who spawned it and the other person just attacks it until they keep dying. So apparently in chat here, if I attack my brothers, it says I cannot help him. So you can see here, you can see that I actually need to kill one of them before I can even help anybody kill theirs. So there's no way my brother can even help with me with the tier 2s whenever I die. So we'll definitely have to run the tier 1s and level that up more and more, get a bit stronger, just unlock some of the weapons, and just level up our overall skills on the profile. So let's go ahead, run a few tier 1s and just see what we can unlock. Someone's also placing some eyes here for our dragon, so we may even get a dragon here in between, which is going to be absolutely amazing. And there it is, so let's go ahead and get some frags. Let's see what type of dragon it is going to be. Spawning. And... It is a old. Aw, oh, rip. That's too bad. Oh, there's my boss. Yeah, let's kill this thing during a dragon fight. Why not?
Alright, so let's pick up the frags real quick. It's great that we can do summoning eyes, dragons, like leech some dragons at the same time while still getting our slayers done, which is pretty, pretty cool. We just claimed our reward. As you can see, we've unlocked the Cantana recipe. So let's actually see how this bad boy looks. There you go. That's a Cantana recipe. So this might be doable if we get more drops. As you can see, we only have two from the one boss. I'm not sure how common this drop is going to be. It's an uncommon drop, like in the game so we'll see how common it is maybe we can craft ourselves a void walker cantana today that'd be amazing let's go let's go i got an eye So we can actually claim the next boss level in the reward. Uh, Enemy Slayer 2, level 2 as we can. We get the next level. So you can see we get the Null Void recipe. We get the Lesser Soul Flow Engine and Soul Flow Recipe. So let's open that up here. Let's actually click these recipes. Very interesting. So we had the Null Void before. Alright. Um, and then we also got the Soul Flow Pile. Wow, very cool. Lesser Soul Flow Engine. It's for the minions here. It says uh, placing into the minion will reduce the minion outage by 50%, but it will restart. It'll start generating a soul flow item. And of course, the soul flow itself right here. Raw soul flow can be turned into soul flow. All right, so we're back here from grinding a few slayers. Now, unfortunately, we could not do the tier twos like you guys saw. So we've been grinding a bunch of tier one slayers. We leveled up to level two in our slayers. We've unlocked the Cantana recipe, which you guys saw there. So it's time to actually craft it. We got enough Null Spheres dropped here from the tier ones. My brother gave me a few. He gave me 12. In total, I have 32 and the stick. Now, if you take a look here at the recipes for the slayers, actually, it is called a Void Walker Cantana. So that's the one we want to craft here. There's, of course, no skin texture yet for that. So it'll be interesting to see what they come up with in the future. But let's craft this thing. I'm so hyped here. I'm actually excited. Ready to go. All right, let's put the stick here in. There it is. All right, three, two, one. Boom, we got it. All right, so let's see what this thing actually does. As you can see, if I hover over, it'll says it'll do 100% damage to an Enderman. Wow, so a lot more damage there. Now, of course, we can upgrade this thing. Um, it's currently sitting at 80 damage, 40 strength. And of course, we can enchant it as well. But uh, I can't right-click it for the next recipe. Unfortunately, I don't think we have that unlocked. So we have to work towards those slayers, of course. And there you have it. So we got ourselves the Cantana, which was the goal for today. We got the tier one slayer finished. We could beat that thing. We could not be beat the tier two, which is our goal as well. Unfortunately, we couldn't get that done. As I said, maybe in a group of three. But that's the end for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys liked it. Of course, give us a like if you guys really did. And of course, comment down below. Also, make sure you guys do subscribe. Join the code already. It means a lot. And let's help us grow and get YouTube rank on the server. All right, see you guys in the next video.